Hey guys, welcome back to Endcast. In today's episode, we will be talking about the loss of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit and who he is in the first place. Stick around until the end so you can hear me review in detail his first cartoon. With all that said, let's look at Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. In 1927, Walter Elias Disney was working at Universal Pictures. He designed a rabbit with a good friend of his named Ub Iwerks. They named him Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Now, Oswald had the same body and face as Mickey Mouse. The only difference is that Oswald's face was a bit longer than Mickey's, and he had big rabbit ears. He wore white shorts at this time, too. Now, Walt and I works made 27 Oswald the Lucky Rabbit short films, which is very interesting because they started in 1927. On September 5th, 1927, Oswald's first short was released. Trolley Troubles starred Oswald the Lucky Rabbit for the first time ever, and he soon became a success. In 1928, Charles Mintz was Mr. Disney's distributor on the Oswald short films. He had a contract dispute, though, with Walt on Oswald cartoons. So, from there on out, Walt set out to make a new cartoon. People gathered into the cinemas on November 18th, 1928, to watch Steamboat and Willie, starring Mickey Mouse. Back to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit's history, he had a much longer history that many people do not know of. After that contract dispute, Mr. Mintz went to Universal to sign another three more year contract without Disney's involvement of Oswald shorts. Since Universal had the rights to Oswald cartoons now, they went to National Line Publications to run Oswald the Lucky Rabbit comics from 1935 to 1936. Then, in 1943, Charles Mintz and Walter Lance made Oswald cartoons for TV, but they weren't as good as the ones that Walt Disney did. Now, Oswald then starred in a new comic book line published by Dell Comics from 1942 to 1962. At this time, Oswald was a brown rabbit that looked nothing like the original Oswald. The face looked like Roger Rabbit's face in a way. And it was a very weird and realistic looking face. And this Oswald the Lucky Rabbit looked like a hyper-realistic cartoon rather than a cartoon character that looks more loving and approachable. For those of you that do not know, Walt Disney had a brother named Roy O. Disney. Roy O. Disney had a son named Roy E. Disney. And in 2006, Roy E. Disney purchased the rights to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Sadly, Roy E. Disney died in 2009. But we will be reading an excerpt from OhMyDisney.com in the article titled The Unbelievable History of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. This is really how Disney regained the rights to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. ESPN gained the rights to broadcast Monday Night Football while NBC acquired Sunday Night Football, anchored by John Madden. Quote, at the time, this is the quote from the former ESPN president, George Bodenheimer, wrote in his book, Every Town is a Sports Town. At the 2006 Super Bowl, a colleague informed me that Al Michaels wanted to get out of his ABC contract so he could join Madden on the Sunday night team. If true, this was a big development as Al had been with ABC for 30 years. Sure enough, when we spoke after the game, he told me it was true. Bodenheimer then got a call from Iger explaining that he'd be willing to let Michaels go if Bodenheimer could deliver Oswald the Lucky Rabbit back to Disney. Who or what is Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, Bodenheimer asked Iger told him about Oswald's legacy and the importance to the company. Bodenheimer then called Dick Ebersole, his counterpart at NBC. I'm willing to talk to you about letting Al go to NBC, but I gotta have Oswald the Lucky Rabbit back.
Bodenheimer said to Ebersole, who had never heard of Oswald either. But Bodenheimer filled him in, restating Iger's commitment to having the character return to Disney. Within a week, Ebersole had run the traps at NBC's sister company, Universal, received the approval, and the deal was worked out. Bodenheimer said this all in his book, and like that, Oswald was home. Now after that amazing event happened, on Thanksgiving Day in 2010, Epic Mickey was released. Now this was very big because this game reintroduced Oswald big time. Oswald was the second main character next to Mickey Mouse in this game, and it was released only for the Wii. But then, on November 18th, 2012, Epic Mickey 2 was released. If you are player 2 in Epic Mickey 2, you can play as Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. You can play this on the Xbox 360, PS3, Wii, and PC. And I'm sure it's backwards compatible on the later consoles. Now, I've played a good amount of Epic Mickey 2. And Epic Mickey 2 is a really cool game because Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, the entire concept is you're in this place called Wasteland, which is a more corrupted Disneyland in a way. And Oswald is at the center of this universe instead of Mickey Mouse. It's like the alternate reality where Os Oswald was Mickey Mouse and Disney made Mickey Mouse with Universal and then went off to make Oswald on his own. That's kind of what this game is like. And so you get to really learn about what Oswald is like a character and all these other things. And so I recommend that game um, if you are interested in Oswald because it does show you a lot more about what this character is like or you could just go watch all the short films on youtube in the 2013 short film get a horse there is a scene in the where the 3d versions of the characters look at pete the cat knocked out on the floor if you look at the bottom right hand of the cinema screen at timestamp 521 oswald is there in the movie zootopia oswald is graffitied on a train now this is extremely hard to find and pause at the right moment, but it's at the timestamp 1 hour, 23 minutes, and 24 seconds. Lastly, in Big Hero 6, at timestamp 27 minutes and 22 seconds, you can see to the left of the ceiling an Oswald sticker. So, they have been sprinkling in Oswald the Lucky Rabbit ever since 2013 to take advantage of their Oswald of the Lucky Rabbit um, deal, well, ownership. But then, if you have been to Disney's California Adventure Park in the Disneyland Resort since 2014, then you might have come across a gift shop named Oswald's. It is on Buena Vista Street near the entrance of the park. Unless you are entering from the Grand Californian Resort, then it will be a little ways away, but not too far. It sells the official Oswald the Lucky Rabbit merchandise in a Disney park. It looks like a gas station, but it's like the good gas station. It's not like your typical one with that one toilet that is overflowing with who knows what. No, this is a very nice and clean gas station, and it's just for merchandise purposes. I don't even think you can fill up on gas because, well, why would you? You're inside a theme park. But then if you have revisited or just visited Disney's California Adventure Park since 2017 and still came to this area, then you probably saw Oswald the Lucky Rabbit himself. I know I did once. Sadly, he was walking off to take his carrot break, so I didn't get a picture with him. So they have put him inside the Disney parks and the movies. And it was once rumored on Twitter a couple years ago before Disney Plus came out, I found evidence of this that they might have an Oswald the Lucky Rabbit series on Disney Plus. But I find that highly unlikely because some people just do not know. But at the same time, they could have an Oswald the Lucky Rabbit series because if you go to your Disney Plus, they used to, I don't know if they still do, have 
a profile icon of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. So now I will be reviewing the Trolley Troubles short, which was Oswald's very first short ever. Now, I want you to keep in mind when I'm painting these pictures. The animation is black and white and very simplistic. What I mean by very simplistic is it's just like lines and very basic shapes. There's not a lot of details. It's not even as detailed as Steamboat Willie short. Um, even though it was only a year before Steamboat Willie. It's very, very basic um, and, I don't know, just simplistic. So, without further ado, here is my breakdown and review of Trolley Troubles. So, you can find this on YouTube, and I got to find it on a high-definition version but in the beginning we see oswald using his tail and some oil to uh fix up a trolley for some people to ride on now he gets some people on the ride and they go off once he's done fixing it right then the, he sees a cow in the way and he breaks it he pulls the brakes and he tries to move the cow. So he then backs up the trolley and rams into the cow. And, well, his trolley gets shot way back. And the cow just moves a bit. Like, um, so there's an opening under. And so Oswald sees this. And Oswald squishes the trolley under the cow. Now, keep in mind, this is a cartoon, so not everything's going to be realistic. So, when I say they squished under, I mean they made the trolley very thin just to fit under and then go back to normal size. They then ride off going uphill, but then they end up falling down that hill as they lose control. Oswald tries to stop the trolley and succeeds at the very bottom of the hill. But then a goat sees him and hits Oswald. Oswald then sees a piece of wood and grabs it and pulls it on the hooks, on the, like the goat horns. And Oswald hops on the trolley with this wood piece and the wood is on the goat horns also. And so Oswald taunts the goat and the goat wants to still hit him. But instead, it just hits the trolley, and then, well, they go over the hill, and then lose complete troll, complete control, and Oswald accidentally breaks the steering lever while he's trying to control it, but the trolley is just going completely insane, going side to side, and you just see passengers getting thrown out of the trolley. Then they go up and over the hills, tossing more passengers out of the trolley. And then Oswald goes through some dark tunnels alone, ducking to, and then ends up in the water and just pedals away. And that's the end of a five minute short film. So basically, Oswald just experiences a bunch of trolley troubles the entire time. Well, he just wanted to take some people on a ride and loses all his passengers because of a goat hitting a trolley and then it goes over a hill and then he cannot steer it correctly and so it's just jerking from left to right left to right and then he can't do anything about it and people are just falling out of the trolley and then when it goes up and down there he people are still falling out of the trolley so in short i enjoyed this um short i like the music in the background there is no audio uh, like no talking it's just music um and it, it gets more dramatic for more dramatic scenes. Um, the scenes like where it's going left and right and up and down and through the tunnels. You know, they um, expand on those scenes a lot longer to make it more entertaining. So overall for a short film, it's, it's good. Um, it's definitely not better in my opinion than Steamboat Willie. Um, Steamboat Willie is much longer, longer, and um, 
more creative in my opinion i mean this is still pretty creative i mean this is walt's first short ever made and i enjoyed it It it's a really cool short film um i encourage everybody to go watch it and um hopefully soon i'll be watching more of these shorts and just reviewing a bunch of them because there are 26 more shorts to review because i'm just gonna watch the ones with walt i mean i might watch one of them without walt and see how it is compared to the the walt disney shorts but yeah that's my overall review breakdown of trolley troubles 1927 well there you have it i hope you've enjoyed today's episode about oswald the lucky rabbit uh he will always be remembered by disney fans throughout the world i do hope and I do leave you with this question. Do you believe that Oswald the Lucky Rabbit or Mickey Mouse was the original for Disney? That's up for you all to decide. And have a great week. See you in the next episode.